So we're in The Hague at the SDN World Congress. I'm here with Antoine Clerget from One Access. So uh, Antoine, good to see you. Um, so uh, this uh, event, this conference is all about um, uh, SDN and NFE and how that applies to communication service providers and their transformation strategies. How does One Access fit into that, that whole story, that whole ecosystem? We are well, well, very well known in the operator's world uh, for enterprise class routers for okay. managed services. Uh, 29 out of the top 100 operators have at some point selected One Access, so we have a relatively important footprint. And our ambition is to help these telco customers in their migration to NFV. Okay. For that, we've extended our portfolio. First, with a universal CP that we call our open virtual platform. Second, with a catalog of VNFs. VNFs to be hosted in the customer prem uh, on universal CPs or in the data center. Okay. And third, we've made an evolution of our uh, current product line, our classic CPEs, uh, with a native NetConf API so that they can be orchestrated both by existing orchestrators and next generation NetConf based orchestrators. Okay, so um, how do you actually differentiate yourself in the market? You know, there's a lot of companies offering a, a lot of capabilities. What's, what's the difference? How do, you, how do you differentiate? Right. So, uh, first of all, we've listened a lot to our operators and the issues and what was important to them in their NFV migration journey. Uh, well, first, we do not intend to provide an end-to-end -end solution that will lock them in a vendor-specific solution. So we okay. are genuinely open. And then we provide a white box and not a gray box, for example. Uh, second, uh, we, are, we have been a router manufacturer for uh, almost two decades. Uh, and so we are used to providing compact, scalable, and carrier-grade solutions for telcos. Uh, third, as a, as a telco specialist, we provide prepackaged solutions for accelerated service delivery. Okay. And last, as an agile organization, uh, we are very flexible when it comes to discussing licensing. Uh, which will be a true challenge in tomorrow's NFE world. Okay, excellent. So, I mean, uh, NFE, you know, there's a lot of gains to be had for the communication service providers, but it, it's really tough to implement. Um, what are the key challenges from your perspective facing the, the network operators in implementing NFE? Right, well, first, uh, one of the major challenges that I've seen is that the operators uh, have uh, found use cases for the high end of the market which has two consequences. First, the high end of the market is not that much of a big market, it's relatively small. And the second, the solutions uh, that we've designed for that part of the market uh, in terms of cost are prohibitive, which challenges the return on investment. Right. The second, when it comes to the larger part of the market, the operators are facing a lot of issues regarding the legacy installations, uh, regarding analog, TDM interfaces, all the voice, uh, interfaces, challenges that they need to overcome and that uh, are more difficult to overcome with standard costs. Okay. Uh, third, they are still hesitating between a centralized or a distributed architecture. Uh, so uh, on one hand they have uh, reliability, uh, latency issues, complexity issues, and on the other they have cost and migration issues. So okay. they are struggling between, between the two types of architectures. Okay. So how can One Access help the, the service providers with these challenges? How, how can you help them overcome some of these hurdles? When it comes to these high value functions that they have as use cases, um, democratizing these high value functions has always been in One Access DNA. Being able to provide a DPI or one optimization at a reasonable cost. So from a VNF perspective, we'll make sure that these high value functions we can provide with low footprint and, and reasonable cost. And the same applies for hardware, where we're, we've been all able to provide cost-effective solutions for our customers, and we'll work on that for the white box. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's for the, the first challenge. The second challenge is regarding the install base, of which a lot of these, we have our own equipments. Um, uh, one of our proposal is to provide a white box as a sidecar of an existing infrastructure, not considering that the entire network to be deployed is to be deployed in a greenfield approach, but okay. a brownfield approach. Okay. So we provide a universal CP as a VNF plug to be plugged on legacy devices okay. in the same manner as deployed in, in, in standard uh, deployments. Okay. Third, regarding architecture, uh, we do not focus on a unique architecture, and we are re ready to to, to work on any types of architecture, 
putting the right function where it belongs. So to conclude, our objective here is really fast network virtualization. Okay, excellent. It's clear that you've taken a lot of time to talk to customers to find out about their challenges and you're addressing those needs. So look forward to hearing more in the future about how that's working out. Antoine, Thank thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.